This is Gerardo Del Real with Resource Stock Digest. Joining me today is the president and CEO of Azucar Minerals, Dr. Morgan Poliquin. How are you, Morgan? Oh, I'm outstanding. Thanks so much. Thanks for having me on. How are you? Fantastic. Fantastic. Thank you very much for asking. So we just had some news out of Azucar. It's not news that's going to move the stock in either direction. Not too much higher, not too much lower. But uh, let me read the headline and then I want to take a couple of minutes and just ask you about the approach. So the headline reads, Azucar hits 18 meters of 0.51 grams per ton gold and 0.43% copper at the Villa Rica target at the El Cobre project in Veracruz, Mexico. Now, I, I say that those numbers aren't going to move the stock either way because the company is well cashed up. You have multiple drills turning, and I know that the market is anticipating news from not just this target, but other targets as well. Um, the mineralization that was found was found about 500 meters down, 534 meters down, but I wanted to Take a little time and let you give some context as to the approach that you take when it comes to exploration. Everybody knows you have a track record of discoveries. Uh, we know that Newcrest is in at about a buck thirty-five, if I'm not mistaken. The stock is trading near the thirty cent level. Can you talk a little bit about the approach there, Morgan? Uh, absolutely, delighted to do so. Uh, it's uh, it's it's a big area. I mean, that's the bottom line. And uh, when you look at porphyries, uh, uh, look here's the here's the geologic uh, framework here uh, with what we're dealing with. We're at the top of these porphyry systems. So, uh, you know, if we have something huge here, it's going to be below us. And of course, we're looking for something huge, and so is Newcrest. And uh, we know that um, we've got to find the geometry of uh, the 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 uh, potential ore body and and drill it to depth uh we think these things come right to surface and we think at the norte zone in particular we've got something potentially open pitable uh there so it's not to say that we're looking for something really really deep um and if it, it can only exist really really deep not at all but uh we're dealing we know that we're at the tippy top of the system so that's the starting place and what we're playing with is an area that's uh uh, you know, nearly five kilometers by by almost uh, the same same distance in the opposite direction. It's it's a uh, we've got multiple different porphyry targets, and the history of exploring big uh, uh, what this is called a lithocap environment, uh, a big porphyry environment, is that um, oftentimes it's um, the flashy sort of surface anomalies where you have high magnetics, high copper and gold and soil aren't always the core of the system. And uh, some of the more subtle features sometimes, you know, are, are uh, obscuring uh, the, the bigger porphyries at depth. So we're at the level uh, where we expect things to be uh, below us. Uh, and um, we're, we're working with uh, a huge area of uh, high copper, golden soil anomalies, uh, magnetics, uh, and uh, we've got multiple porphyries. And... Uh, you know, it's rare that in a field of multiple porphyries, they're all going to be world-class mega things. Uh, usually, um, there's variety there of grade and tonnage, and uh, but but the the feeling is that this huge in, environment where there's been so much activity and so many so much in the way of fluids, uh, it, it, you know, there's there's something significant here to find, and that's why I, I think Newcrest feels the same way. You don't want to put words in their mouth, of course, but that's why I've been. Uh, so focused on this thing for 25 years. So at the Norte zone, you know, we clearly, uh, internally uh, speaking, uh, we clearly saw, uh, we didn't understand the geometry. So that's why we drilled holes in different azimuths and different directions um, if, uh, to try to understand that. And as we reported in a previous news release, we really understand, we think much better which way things are going. We think it's open, as we've explained in previous news releases, and we're still exploring the limits both the depth and a long strike, we think. And uh, this year, we'll hopefully, we'll, we'll get to those kind of limits and get closer to a resource there. That's the most advanced target. This is two kilometers south, and we had a very exciting outcrop on the surface. Uh, uh, you know, I've said it's one of the best outcrops, uh, you know, I've ever encountered in my prospecting. And again, we uh, know that there's 
breaches and, and structural things like faults and, and different things going on. And we're high in the system and we think to depth, uh, you know, things are going to possibly get better. If they are going to get better, they're going to get better to depth. And we see things increasing to depth, like minerals, like the, the amount of boronite, which is a key mineral in porphyry system. So um, all the holes we drilled so far here, including the ones we reported today, they really, in my opinion, um, at this stage, give us some much better targeting for the drilling we're conducting uh, now and onwards through the year. So they give a better sense of the geometry. We've done some 3D modeling with these holes. And the, the two holes, including the headline hole that were drilled underneath the previous hole from last year, which hit 40 meters of, uh, again, this is off the top of my head, uh, uh, but it was about 40 meters of just under a gram and around 0.4% copper. That was really exciting to hit. And uh, we drilled two hol holes underneath that, and the widths are narrower. And it's clear to me, uh, these things are coming up from depth. You know, they don't fall from the sky. And uh, we think that we've clipped the side of something here. And so the, and that's the exact wording we used in the news release. So uh, this Eureka zone uh, is part of a huge area that uh, I reminded people in the first paragraph. It's, you know, m more than two uh, kilometers in one direction and, and, and a kilometer in the other direction. So it's, it's a significant area and we're feeling our way into this. Uh, and uh, we now have the information uh, to much like the Norte zone to target this. Uh, uh, it would have been obviously nice to have drilled underneath that first intercept and got into the guts of the thing right away. Um, but uh, we now have the information to understand this better in three dimensions to target it properly. The company has a market cap right now of approximately 24 million Canadian. You've done an excellent job uh, via the Newcrest and prior placements, um, via the Newcrest financing and prior private placements of positioning the company well. You are fully funded and you happen to own your own drills. I can't help but notice that the news release says not only do you continue to drill the Villarica target, but you're also drilling at the Norte Zone, which you just mentioned, and the Porvenir Encinal area. What does the cash position look like and how is drilling coming along at the other areas? Yeah, we wound up the year uh, with around 16 million uh, Canadian, and um, you know we're, we've got a, uh, or, or that was at the end of September. We've got our end of the year to come up here uh, with 16, 16 and a half at the third quarter, I guess. Uh, and you know we're we're progressively drilling. We have the cash for uh, you know all the work that we planned out here um, uh, with with Newcrest, and and basically it's going to be. Uh, two-fold uh, year here. On the one hand, we're going to be drilling new targets and, and, and we're going to be uh, fleshing out and, and really testing with the information that we've gathered here, the existing targets. So uh, we think this year will be a very dynamic year for the, for the company. Fantastic. Morgan, anything else you'd like to add? I thought that was well said. Um, great context. And for the non-geologist or geologist who, you know, maybe never have ran a successful exploration program, I think the context is very important because I often in my conversations will hear, you know, whether drilling holes that are too close together and, and they're drilling holes that are, you know, 50 meters away or 20 meters away. Um, what's the point of doing those? And so I say, well, you know, call Morgan, ask him, right? Well, absolutely. Uh, these are these are more you know people think that porphyries are huge uh, ore bodies, and certainly they they ultimately uh, the best ones are are billions of tons. Uh, but they grow that way. Uh, they, and number one, they don't have to be. Uh, you know, Newcrest, our 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 equity partner, uh, their project has grown to three billion tons in, in that they've started on Cadia in New South Wales, but. You know, the, a very key part of it was a smaller 80 million ton uh, or thereabouts high grade uh, block cave, and and it's and they started with 150 million ton open pit, and all these things evolved over time. The, these gold rich porphyries are not sort of the the copper molly porphyry big blobs of Arizona. They they are more complicated and structural and. You know, certainly Newcrest, uh, you know, uh, one thing I've heard uh, from them is that you can be very, very close uh, to, to high grade in the Cadia district, uh, you know, it's published stuff and, and have uh, almost no indications. You can be 50 meters away and completely miss it. So, um, you know, they, they, they uh, we're in within the footprint. We've already discovered the footprint and now it's the, uh, 
uh, we think we've got great tools and cheap drilling, which is a key, um, and and uh, our acumen, and and certainly uh, we're able to tap into so, uh, Newcrest as well to the to the, you know to a degree, and uh, we think we're in the best position possible to uh, make a discovery in this extremely exciting exploration district. I can't help but notice the similarities with the fact that you have the North Zone and Anchor Deposit, which obviously still has the potential to grow, but it's very predictable and you can put a ruler to to the very clear cross sections that you always provide and, and take a guess, take a stab as to the tonnage there. Um, and then, of course, you have the big upside with some of the stuff that's uh, hopefully there at depth. Morgan, thank you so much for the conversation. It's always appreciated. Thank you so much for your time. Uh, Likewise.